guys, so today I'm going to be filming a much overdue Q&A about Delilah's conditions. A little bit of a disclaimer, I guess. I am not a doctor or anything. <laughs> and also, please be respectful. I am just sharing this to help spread awareness and to kind of inform you guys a little bit on what her conditions are because her conditions could definitely use some awareness. If you are new here especially, I am a nursing student and it's finals week so I am exhausted <laughs> and sleep deprived. I was going to organize the questions a lot better but honestly, my brain is fried, so I'm just gonna do my best to answer these questions. Also, a lot of people were asking what her conditions are exactly, so I'm just gonna list them off right away. So she has Chiari malformation type 1.5, she has syringomyelia, she has craniocervical instability, and she probably also has Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, but we need to uh, see a geneticist to get that confirmed. But with the craniocervical instability, it's more than likely that she has that. So those are her conditions. I do have a Q&A that I'm going to link down below because I don't want to go into what Chiari and Syringomalia are because I already did a pretty good job in a different Q&A. So that's linked down below. If you have no idea what those things are, I'll put them in the eye in the sky and you can pause this video, go over there, check out that Q&A and then you can come back here. Some of these questions might be repeats. First question is from Danielle, and I put people's initials, Danielle HD, and it says, will you be traveling if she needs the fusion? That's a really good question, and I don't have an answer. Insurance-wise, with the insurance that we have right now, if we traveled out of state, which I would like to do, we would have to pay out of pocket, and I'm pretty sure out of pocket, or out of network, out of pocket is $15,000 and that's if they cover it. And I, the lady that I spoke to basically said that we wouldn't know if they'd covered it until we had the surgery. So unless I win the lottery or I get a different insurance, probably not. Uh, she asked, do you tell Delilah what's going on with her medically? I'm always wondering how I will tell my one-year-old in the future. We do always tell her what's going on. We fill her in all the time. We don't, we try not to talk over her. We try to talk to her. And before we tell anybody else, like when she gets a new diagnosis, we sit down with her first and tell tell her as best, you know, she's four, we tell her as best as we can, you know, what's going on. And with your one-year-old, your one-year-old will probably start asking questions, you know, about doctor appointments and stuff, so you'll probably, I think it will come naturally, so don't stress about it. Sharon D, is Chiari genetic and will it be passed down to her children? They can't say that it's genetic because they haven't nailed down the gene, but... I have it and she has it, but Winter does not. So yes, there is a genetic component to it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that she will pass it on to her children. Rachel R, does it look like she has any of the sister conditions that can come along with Kiari? Yep. Keely C, how is the princess doing these days? Pretty good. Are you going to do any fundraising to help offset medical bills and such? Girl, you know I will hit you up <laughs> when I plan on doing that. However, I have had quite a few people ask where they can donate, so I did, for the purpose of this video, create a GoFundMe. I don't by any means expect people to donate. Just thought that I would make it for those of you that do want to donate so that will be linked down below as well so if you guys want to do that it's there for you but definitely just you guys learning about her conditions is really helpful to me as well um yes we will have a play date soon keely <laughs> summer d does chiari last forever or does one surgery fix it chiari is incurable surgery doesn't fix it surgery treats it and for some people they only have one surgery their whole life some people never have surgery hopefully i will never need surgery it's incurable she also asked with the form of chiari that delilah has what does this mean for her when she gets older we don't know. We really don't know. Even her neurosurgeon doesn't know what to tell us. It's, it's just, she's gonna deal with it forever. Will there be any permanent effects that Kiari will have on her? Yes, most likely. Looking back, were there any subtle signs and symptoms that she had before she was diagnosed? Yes. We always thought she was really clumsy, but it's, your cerebellum controls balance. Like that's basically like the job of the cerebellum along with some other things, but her balance was poor. Her speech was a little bit behind. Do you think that her learning, Charlie's over here, do you think that her learning was impaired a little bit? She was just a little bit. She's behind. Just not behind smidge. enough for it to be, no. be noticeable. It's hard because really we're kind of comparing her to Winter, but I think Winter is just really smart, so it's just, it's hard, but she was just a little bit behind. Um, her fine motor skills weren't so good, her balance. Uh, speech things like that now these are uh, Instagram questions Queen Angelus says is she doing good I think so but no <laughs> I guess her quality of life is good yes Lindsay and Liv 
Does she understand what Chiari is and how does she handle it? I don't think she really understands exactly what it is. I mean, we tell her that her brain is too big, things like that, but I don't think she fully understands what it is. She does know that she's different. She knows that she does have a condition. She handles it really well. She does kind of verbalize, you know, sometimes she has fears or she'll be like, I don't want to go back to the hospital, but she also thinks that she's super brave. She handles it really well, honestly. Sandra Wilbur asks, how has her recovery been since the surgery? Her recovery has been amazing. Her incision looks beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen an incision look as nice as her. And physically, I think she's doing really well. Holly underscore Busher underscore says, what is her condition like now? Is it getting progressively better or worse? Her condition got worse. We found out at uh, the last MRI that it got worse. Her syrinxes, like I said, if this is all going over your head, go watch the other Q&A video, but her syrinxes got bigger, which means her CSF flow has not been restored. However, the surgery did improve her speech. Oh, her memory too, probably a little bit. Her speech, her memory, and her balance. I'm giving her brain more room, that part helped but her other issue is like on the front of her body. It's really hard to explain. Justin underscore swim underscore actor asks, how many more surgeries is she going to need? I have no idea, I don't know. Adventures of Mary asks, how does her neurosurgeon know she has CCI? When do they want to treat it? Her, her neurosurgeon knows that she has craniocervical instability because she had a flexion and extension MRI. It's like the cranio, I don't remember, I don't know the actual name of it, but it's basically like an angle in here, somewhere, in the front of your skull and spine. I don't know, I'm not a neurosurgeon. When do they want to treat it? We don't know, we will find out in January. It kind of sounds like she's definitely gonna need a fusion and I think he just kind of humored us. Do you think he just humored us and tried to give her a little bit more time? A fusion is hardcore, I mean, especially yeah, on a four year old. So he wanted to give her a little bit more time and then do a repeat MRI. Delaney. Rosencrantz says, does CCI give her any setbacks physically or mentally? Nope, not at this point that we know of. I don't know if it's Mary or Mari. Mary Jean? How is she doing since her decompression? She is doing really good, but yes, she will need, she's most likely gonna need a fusion. You asked, does she have Chiari 1 or Chiari 1.5? She has Chiari 1.5, so her having craniocervical instability with Chiari 1.5 is dreadful. But let me know, I don't know if your little one has one or 1.5, so I'm curious, so let me know. Actually, it's Lauren asks, when will her next surgery be? We don't know, but probably next year. Does Chiari cause any setbacks? If you mean like setbacks, like what limitations does she have? She has a lot of like restrictions. She can't, there's so many, like no roller coasters, no trampolines, no contact sports things like that. Anything with like a G-force where you could get like whiplash motion is just a bad idea. It can cause more damage and it could actually be worse than just causing damage. But there's plenty of other fun things to do so that's what we try to focus on instead of focusing on what she can't do. Danny4420 asks, what do you tell her before surgery? Do you explain what's going to happen in detail or keep it vague? I think we kept it pretty vague just because she doesn't fully understand it. I showed her pictures of, because I'm in some groups and I asked people to post pictures of their kids' incisions and you know, I picked up a couple of the little girls' incisions and I showed them to her. And I think that that kind of like made it real to her and she liked being able to like relate like, oh, that little girl has Chiari too and that little girl had surgery too. We kind of did that on like a, if she asked a questions basis, if that makes sense. She asked like, is it gonna hurt? And we would tell her that yes, it's gonna hurt. And, but we would tell her that we're gonna be there to support her and things like that. Jesse Three Birds asks, how are you and Charles dealing with the anxiety of Delilah's everything? How do you keep the worries from overwhelming everything? Honestly, the best way to answer this is we have our good days and we have our bad days. Most of the time, except maybe around her surgery, it was hard. Usually one of us is having a harder time with it and the other one isn't. So usually we can kind of lean on each other. I think the hardest time was right before her last surgery and that was really challenging. Um, we were both kind of depressed and anxious and just, it's hard to deal with. And especially we have another MRI coming up in January. So that's kind of hanging over our heads and like it's one of those things where the closer it gets, you know, you kind of feel the dread seep in a little bit, but we just try to stay positive. And we've always tried to stay positive, even when like her last MRI, oh, it's gonna be great and we didn't get the best news and we were sad about it, but you just pick up and I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So you just have to take it one day at a time. But I assure you, we have both cried. We have both struggled with it. It's difficult. And if you are struggling with it, you're not alone. 
because we have two. Those are all of my questions. Holy cow, this is gonna be a long video. So thank you guys so much for asking all of your questions. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I hope this answered your questions. If you have any more specific questions, you can leave them down below and I will try my best to answer them. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to check out um, the other Q&A if you didn't already. And I'll post some other videos down below. There's a playlist with all kinds of Kiari related videos if you are new and curious. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here. I'm a little crooked. Oh, thank you. Mm, yeah. Okay. That one's good. Y'all taste the same to me. Oh. Are they all supposed to be different? Better different. <laughs> oh gosh, I look horrible today. That's I. Right. This finals week. Oh, uh, <sighs> Where's my exam? Have you grade this up yet? Nope. I hope I don't find out that I did horrible while I'm filming. <laughs>